Oranges and a pineapple under the sea. Square Absorbent and yellow and porous is he. Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude, and I'm here with my guest star, J53518, to review Slide Whistle Stooges, requested by Hope and Faith Studios. Thank you, Tiger Dude. The plot is SpongeBob Patrick gets slide whistles. For those of you wondering, those are music instruments where they slide the little holer and they record the whistling. But somehow, Squidward gets annoyed and somehow becomes annoyed that he uses it to annoy everyone else. And to buy a surprise, he becomes the most annoying person in the town along with SpongeBob and Patrick. Now, Squidward, while alongside here, everyone's fighting to see who uses it until they try to see who becomes the most annoying ever. Thank you, man. Slide Whistle Stooges is one of the most controversial SpongeBob episodes ever. I agree. Some people love it. Some people hate it. I can understand the hate. But me, personally, I am on the love side. This is one of the best SpongeBob episodes I've ever seen. And, yes, yeah, it's kind of like that episode Earworm where you hear the same thing over and over again. And while I can understand that annoying the living hell out of some people... It doesn't annoy me personally because it really fits the storyline. What made me love this episode is the idea of slide whistles. You don't see that many shows focus on slide whistles. So I'm glad to see SpongeBob focus on something not a lot of shows really focus on. And I, I, I found it to be catchy. That's probably why the slide whistles throughout the episode didn't annoy me. It's because they're all catchy. I was actually getting all happy on my couch and... I just loved how they played it, and I found it very hysterical how Squidward joined along with SpongeBob and Patrick, and how he was starting to become the annoying one with the slide whistles. It's just fine to see him have fun. It's fine to see him annoy some people with the slide whistles, get them getting all crazy, the shenanigans that happen as the episode progresses. For me, it's very well executed, it's very well written, it's creative, it's unique, it's very funny, it's pretty crazy as it progresses, but that's what made me freaking love it. Don't get me wrong, I can understand why this episode has some hate, but I definitely understand why it has some love. It's one of those episodes you either love or hate. But I have nothing wrong with this episode personally. Yes, it's a little crazy, and yes, the ending was a little dumb, but in a fun way, in my opinion. So, Slide Whistle Stooges, I would actually give a 10 out of 10. I love this episode. I agree, Tiger Dude. Same thing here. I like the idea what they did here with making Squidward have fun. Because, come on, he normally is not associated with fun. He's very grumpy and very uptight. And, you know, it's interesting to see that they, we start to know Squidward that he had us have fun. I guess it depends on how he is on every day. And the whole slide thing was kind of a new interest. Like, I know... I know that SpongeBob is meant to be used for music, and it, it does involve music, but I thought being it's interesting that they use this this kind of tool for annoyance. I thought they would do it like in other episodes where SpongeBob would play in a musical, or he'd play with Squidward on Jen the and the jazz quartet. But it was interesting that they took anything as a whistle and made it the most annoying thing in Bikini Bottom. I mean, think about it. It's like they making basically taking a trot board with cat nails and scratching at every board you see in town. I can actually agree with that. <laughs> I know, but it's interesting, like, you know, they went with it, I liked it, not the perfect episode, but a good one to boot. I do give it a 4 out of 5 stars, Tiger Dude. The only flaw about it is that I think that Squidward had a little too much fun, if you can say, just like at the end of the idiot box when he gets in the trash can. He was a little bit too over the top, in your opinion? Yeah. The Rise did a very splendid job with it. I can understand why it's controversial, but to me... I just can't help but love this episode. It's just freaking awesome, in my opinion. Please check out J53518's channel. I will leave a link in the description below. I am 22 Tiger Dude. Don't forget that I will always have... Tiger Power!